All right, y'all, it's Friday, so you know what time it is. It's time for another AGP video. <laughs> you know, I love doing this. So earlier this week, y'all know we got a confirmed DualShock 5 or DualSense controller on Tuesday. Sony was just like, hey, guess what, fans? I'm going to just hit you with this and threw the controller at us on some random tweet from Sony. You see it here on the screen. You know, it's black and white. Uh, you know, it has a built-in microphone, so you don't need one if you don't have one, but it still can be plugged into one that you have if you do have one, so you don't have to throw yours out. The share button is now the create button, and they're supposed to be adaptive triggers. So, and supposed to have a different kind of feel it won't just be the rumble technology it'll be that it'll change depending on what game you're playing what the feel is if you're playing madden attacker will feel different than a gun in call of duty and so on and so forth so that's pretty cool but i told y'all in the video that i put out that i was gonna have a part two talking about how there were some rumors and we really want to see if those rumors are going to come true or not there's three patents that have apparently been found so watch to the end of the video it's not very long but my favorite one is going to be at the end and the one i have the most questions about is going to be at the end so stay tuned for that don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get into this so the first thing the first adapter or patent i should say the first patent was a wireless adapter where it was supposed to be a piece that you can snap on to the DualShock controller or DualSense controller and it can charge wirelessly. Now they said there was also a mat included in the patent so I don't know if it's an electromagnetic wave situation like for some phones now you know you can place it or the Apple Watch you can place it on it and it just charges like that so I don't know if you have to place it on the mat or not or if this adapter makes it so you can snap it on and you can still play while it's recharging like the Xbox controllers have had. You've had the rechargeable one, although you did have to plug it in. So it would not be like that. It would have no wire, which is good for me because this this right here, this wire that I have, look at it. It's jack. No wires is a good thing. That's a plus. So hopefully this is a thing that comes true. It doesn't seem very far-fetched. Makes sense. It says that it can be inductively coupled to the charging base. So the charging base would be that mat, I assume. And I did have to read that little clip, I forgot about that. The second thing is a voice command piece. Now the patent for this was found in, uh, in WIPO or the World Intellectual Property Organization. And apparently it is a patent of a tactile piece that is connected with a voice piece or a microphone. I don't know, a piece that you must snap onto the controller. Or maybe you just, snap on the tactile piece i'm not sure i'm gonna show you all the article here the reason why this confused me is because i don't know the difference is between having a controller and having a microphone yourself because right now you know you can do voice commands on the main menu uh, which is awesome but you know you could just be like playstation play this on the microphone if it's plugged in i don't know if they mean this voice command thing is for in-game situations so I guess with games like Cyberpunk 2077 was coming out or The Witcher or games now, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, games now where you make a decision by what you say, Horizon Zero Dawn, maybe you can just say that and it'll do that line. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I don't, again, I don't really know how different it is. I assume that it's an in-game thing, not just a menu thing. But apparently, you know, you hold on to it and you can speak into it. Uh, what it reads, because I don't remember, is that while the user is inputting voice from the microphone, the sound of the speaker is suppressed and tactile presentation control by the tactile presentation device is performed. So take that with what you will. I'm not sure what it means completely. Tactile is just by touch. So I don't know if they're saying you have to plug it in and you press a button while you speak and then it, it, it lowers the speaker and puts the microphone above it. I'm not quite sure, but it would still be a cool piece, you know? which is pretty awesome. Now the last thing is they might, so this might sound kind of wild and it did to me, but so the last thing is that the PlayStation 5 controller might tailor to your vital signs and change up the way your gameplay experience may go. So what that means is there was a patent that showed that there might be a piece they, again, it was a patent, so these are drawings that have not come to life yet. But there's a piece that you can connect to the controller where it can read your heart rate and your sweat secretion levels and based on the feedback that it gets from, from learning the info from your vitals could change the gameplay. Now, I don't know what that means completely. The only thing I can think of that would make the most sense right now in my head is that depending on 
your heart rate level or your sweat secretion level, it might change the level of difficulty of the game at the time. So if they feel like your heart rate is going up a little too high during a certain ma- like battle, maybe they'll make it. They'll make the battle a little less difficult. I don't really know how this works. Y'all know vital sign machines and biofeedback machines cost tons of money. And I get into that because it's usually for healthcare situations, not for gameplay. Now, that's kind of awesome. I assume it wouldn't be as sensitive as those machines. Those machines can run from hundreds to thousands of dollars with ease. So if this were, the good thing is that it wouldn't be something that comes with the controller because then that would boost up the price for the controller. But also, I'm not quite sure how it works. And in the article that I'm showing you, they don't really know how it's going to work either if it's a possibility. With those vital sign feedbacks, it can give you a look into somebody's emotional state at the time. Now. That's already going to change depending on what game you're playing because you're going to feel different playing Madden, playing Call of Duty, or playing like Resident Evil 7. Like Resident Evil 7 has hella jump scares in it. I haven't played it. I've only seen seen trailers and parts of it. Um, I'm too scared. The point is, is that playing that would be totally different. Like your heart rate would be jumping up and down. It would probably already have a steady faster heartbeat than if you were not playing Resident Evil 7. (laughs) So I don't know. I'm not sure how it would work. It seems really cool and awesome. So that's why I said it is the coolest one to me. It definitely is the coolest one. It's also a little crazy because that's that's real futuristic. We're we're, we're making a lot of a lot of jumps into the stuff that we've seen in movies like Minority Report or iRobot. But that would be kind of crazy if that happens. I think that's cool. But you know, we'll see. We don't know if any of these are going to actually happen. But We do know that there are patents for them, so there's a large possibility or a larger possibility that they will happen. And I'm sure there's a larger possibility depending on which one we're talking about for happening. I would think that that last one is probably the least likely to happen, but it could happen. So that's what's up. But that's all I have for y'all today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me in the comments which one of these you think if you think any of these are going to happen which one you think is the coolest which one would you want because they're all pieces that you could probably buy to connect to the to the dual sense controller so you don't have to get any of them if you don't want to but that would be cool let me know in the comments and i'm gonna catch y'all next time all right peace